30 minutes or thereabouts? No, it was longer than that. It's 50 odd minutes. The problem with that boast that he played in the context of that rally, it was the wrong shot because he knows how deadly Cole is using that speed. He uses that double drop play so well. I like it when Elias is across that tee line and sending, holding and sending the ball back, using just using the front wall to find the various angles. Well, he could do with a couple of those because Paul Colt started to find his range again in the second game in that front left-hand corner. It's a massive key to this match, that area of the court. Certainly uh, setting the right tone here for Puma early on again. Just going back to that trusty line hitting. When he's doing that, Joey, you, you've compared him to the great Jan Khan with that really cat-like movement patterns that he has. And there he's just nailed that one as well. When he's hitting those lines, he, he reminds me even more of Jan Chikhan. You know, completely. Um, uh, as I say, when he's really finding his range, he's, he's getting that very hard length and line to the back of the court. It's very hard to break down. And then it gives him a lot more options, obviously. But I just feel he just needs to have that confidence in his in his physicality and if he, the body is starting to feel a bit he's, he's just got to ignore it and work out what he needs to do on court I, 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 because of the the build-up of knowing that he's been a bit short physically in the past i think that's kind of hung over him a little bit and it's a bit of a a limiting factor that's just got to go out the window in this final as i said earlier and he's got to leave everything on there and, and play the squash that we're seeing at the moment Good decision. He should go out and play that. This is a good decision. Again, Johnny. We always say, and we said it yesterday, that you go on the side of, of playing the ball, stepping a bit forward and playing the ball rather than kind of giving those situations because then the players can start to <laughs> utilize them and look for those scenarios and it just starts to get a bit scrappy. So, good decision there by John Mazzarella. Joey. The problem is the drop's not tight. Again, it's always about these yeah, scenarios, and we see it obviously more on the back end because generally we see more play on the back end in the uh, men's professional game. 
Most of the settling, down, uh, settling rallies and the line play goes down that backhand side. So you get a lot of situations around the midcourt area where if that range is off on the volley drop or drop and it's coming out of the sidewall, second bounce around the short line, you're in trouble. Fortune. I feel like Cole was just starting to get the sort of com complexion about the game that he wants, making it quite physical. It's better from Cole. He's ramping it up again. It's what, in contrast to what the Peruvian is doing. Paul Cole certainly needs to keep this tempo nice and high. That's tight work. Can't get on the volley. Too accurate. Oh, that's brilliant play, Joey. Sometimes he puts that down the wall. I but know. look at the wrist work. I know, I know. This is you've oh, got to I cover two areas there. Fine. Just add that little bit extra on it as well, Johnny. It's got you going. I enjoyed that one. very honest he's popped his hand up as well just clipped out fair he's using that shot to great effect just clipping the tin but he's using it to sort of break oh the patterns man. up and work Cole work him in the sense of just reminding him that he can play that shot he knows that Cole will keep fetching it Feeling that the value in this rally and winning at Joey is starting to ramp up. I feel like this is a real crossroads in this game now.
This is the longest rally that we've had since the very early stage of this match. It's well defended from Cole. And then he got, got it. it. He got it. Goodness me. What a rally, Johnny. Yeah, that was an absolute incredible rally. Unfortunately, I'll say ending in a let deserved more than that in terms of the way that it would end would sort of play out. So we, I just felt like I said the crossroads moment for Elias in particular he had to win that rally. I really felt like he needed it. And he went for it and he made the error. The ball was loose. He likes to take that cross court nick in and it's clipped the top of the tin. That's a massive incentive for Carl. Not that he needs it. Elias is throwing absolutely everything at Cole here. And that ball just keeps coming back. Stayed there and it's kept him in the rally, Joey. Oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, poor Cole. He's under pressure. Oh, what no, a rally. Lord. That was outrageous, Squash. Uh, I mean, we've talked about seeing some unbelievable squash. Cole Aberwelga. But what we saw there, Joey, was the rally of the tournament without any <laughs> doubt. Oh, Johnny. Absolutely awesome. Love it. The crowd really acknowledging that one. Paul Colt did some serious work there. 7 5 for the Peruvian Puma in this third game. play again but that log just keeps going up over and over and great strength there from Cole his ability to defend and Yeah, it's a nice change of angle from Colt. He played that shot in this match yet, yeah, just fading it over the top. It was just a little nice change just to send Elias out of his movement pattern. It's very harsh from John Massarella. I can't recall for some time, Joey, that either player's walked up the front to uh, use the towel. He's trying to try it, dry his grip.
Cannot afford to lose his length and accuracy here, Elias. Just looking at Elias and his body language, Joey, you get the feeling that he's, for the first time, he's really starting to hang on a bit here. Cole, on the other hand, is just on the press. He just physically can keep running around at this at this rate. And there's yeah, that's that error. a tight error. That is a tight error. That is a tight error from Elias. This is just testament to the strength of Cole. That that tolerant rally that he had to endure where he literally was brought to a standstill behind Elias. He's the one that just keeps coming, Joey. He's the one that's putting that extra bite on the ball. Rules and regulations, but don't want that to detract from the squash. It's the second error on the forehand side. Don't know if he's cramping in his hand, Johnny. Keeps stretching that right hand out. I reckon he's definitely hurting, there's no doubt about that. Suffered from that against Mustafa Asal in that fifth game. It's just the intensity with which this 58 minutes has been played, just under an hour, but it's been, really, it's been flat out all the way, Joey. Oh, goodness me, what a shot. And that was an absolute beauty. So deceptive. Paul Cole had no idea that where that was going. Go back to that boast earlier where he hit the tin. It was the right shot to play, and that's why he keeps doing it. Cole just pressing again. Yeah, that's a strange celebration. Slightly premature there, Paul Cole. There was no way that that's a winner. This is so well balanced, shall we? You've got the number eight, the pretender in a way in terms of, you know, we know the talent and all that, but what he's producing today is, is the best of himself. You asked that from him. You said that you want to see him dig and, and really show a lot of guts and determination and all that and that's exactly what he's doing as well squeeze from Colt frustrating for Elias he went in there but very accurate drop shot from Cole to set that stroke scenario up he's got game ball it's a huge game ball it is Elias was going down the line on that previous rally. It could have been a winner possibly if he had it got through. I was going to say, Joey, this Massive. game deserves a tiebreak. It deserves it. I know. I mean, what a crunching oh, winner. It, he worked hard to get behind the ball and get balanced on that one. Hit it with some serious bite. What an awesome final. length that's squeezed so him. well worked squeezed him Johnny I mean I said you were getting inside already on the backhand side when he was you know hitting the ball on the rise taking it early and, and just getting that ball sinking in the corners game ball opportunity now for Elias to go 2-1 up in this final he's done well Cole
bet Cole's going to review this, shall we? Once he realises. Left side. Oh, wow. What did I do wrong? Left. Nope. Masaretta doing a very solid job so far. So Leah serving again at game ball for a 2-1 lead. Had the opportunity there, didn't take it. It's pressure. This is Joey. It's a professional let. Like a professional foul in football. <laughs> it's a breather, I think. I think he wanted just to reset. He did. He had to go and dig no, some no, hard I, balls out the back of the court there. No, I know what you mean, but I honestly, because he was given a stroke earlier on with the follow through, and I think in his eyes he, he felt that was a similar situation. Still game ball. This is good from Cole. What a lob. Oh, this is brilliant, Johnny. Oh, oh down the line. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he got it past him. He got it past him. Just goes on and on. When you think it can't get any better, it does. Sorry, Joe and Joey. No, just saying his urgency now. I mean, it, he's got to have it. He's got to use his attributes, get on that ball, which he's doing here. And that's just... Oh, what a shot. Unbelievable. I mean, he telegraphed the straight drop, but you're dealing with somebody that can improvise so easily. And he did it there. It's a great shot, Johnny. Game ball number two for the Puma. Who, from all reports, came into the venue quite late. He's out stalking. Having a good rest before this massive battle. And what a contest we have on our hands here. Oh, top, that hit the really top of the racket. It, yeah. We've seen some matches, Joey, but this is right up there. Oh, he wasn't ready. Cole didn't hit that cleanly down the line. I mean, this is, he's kind of celebrating like he thinks it's a straight, which it isn't, but I, I don't know if he's had a bit of a, a blip here, Paul Cole. He's, oh, goodness me. It's certainly not a stroke, Johnny. Do you think this will be upheld? He's, he's actually going, really, if you look at it, the, not the condensed angle there, that's, that's supporting Cole, but the back camera angle yes, looked like he was going move, through Diego Elias well and a little bit offline. Game ball. How do I play that? Oh. Right, right. Yeah. Given it's such a, a gladiatorial contest, I'm kind of glad that it's a let. I wouldn't like to see the game end on that, Joe. No, I know, I agree. I mean, it's, but he, he nearly stitched himself there, Colt. 
So he's got an opportunity. And he's not going to get it there. He's not going to get it there. He's not done anything wrong there at all. Paul Cole's frustrated. I mean, honestly, he's not done anything there. He's played his shot, tried to pick him up. What a, I'm just so impressed with what we're seeing here. This is so good for the sport. It's fantastic for our sports, just what's needed. 67 minutes. And it's a 24-year-old from Lima that's leading two games to one over the Superman Paul Cole.